Singapore's neighbors are upset amid allegations that the city-state paid up to $3 million a show for an exclusive deal to secure Taylor Swift and her blockbuster Eras tour. And today, we heard from Singapore's culture minister, who addressed parliament on the controversy, and he said that the grant is not as high as speculated. Now, let's walk through the timeline here. Now, last week, we heard from a lawmaker in the Philippines who called on his country to put the pressure on Singapore for an explanation. Joey Salceda said this. Let's bring it up for you. Quote, this isn't what good neighbors do. He goes on to say, it was at the expense of neighboring countries which could not attract their own foreign concert goers and whose fans had to go to Singapore, unquote. Uh, the allegations were first made public um, by the Thai prime minister, Shreda Tavisin, when he spoke at a business forum in Bangkok um, on February the 16th, and he said, that Singapore paid Taylor Swift up to $3 million per show, allegedly on condition of exclusivity for a Singapore-only arrangement in Southeast Asia. And Shredda also said this, let's bring it up for you, quote, if I'd known this, I would have brought the shows to Thailand, unquote. Now, I want to add that we are awaiting comment from Taylor Swift's team, including her concert promoter. Now, Singapore said it did award Taylor Swift a grant to perform there, but it did not confirm the exclusivity clause. And today, we heard from its culture minister, Ed Tong, who made fresh comments about this controversial grant, saying this, let's bring it up for you, quote, there has been some online speculation as to the size of the grant. I can say that it is not accurate and not anywhere as high as speculated, unquote. And then citing confidentiality reasons, he didn't reveal the size or the conditions of the grant. Now, this week, Taylor Swift is playing in Singapore. She's playing six sold-out concerts to some 300,000 fans there. It's her only stop in Southeast Asia. And Singapore is getting a massive economic boost here. According to an economist at Maybank, seven out of 10 concert goers are coming into Singapore from overseas, and they're spending up to $370 million in the city-state. Back to you. All right. Our thanks to Christy Lustow joining us live from Hong Kong.